Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Here's a Tulip Poplar bow drill set that I made last week. Got the material straight off the ground. Um, the branch wasn't wide enough to have a piece to use for the fireboard, so that's why I made this two-piece fireboard. You've seen me do this technique before. And I tried six times before I finally got a weak enough ember to transfer it to punk wood and to go ahead and get the flames. Now this was so tight that you couldn't even move these halves last week. So it's done some drying out in the back of the Camry and it should make an ember easier. So I'm sort of through the bottom, but I don't care. I'm gonna cut that tip off, make it blunt again and force this to create another ember. Then I want to try our bundled spindle again and try to use this fireboard as a two hole. Get very close to this hole and go ahead and do my burn in and just keep on going. And my amber should drop down into this used up divot. So that would be interesting if I get success on both. thing about tulip poplar is that you have to bow slowly with low downward pressure and really bow for a long time. Just be patient with it. So hopefully it's dry enough now to produce an ember relatively easily. lot of drag in that hole. Um, the deeper that a divot gets, the more drag there is. So it wore my bearing block point down. Bearing block end of the spindle, it wore the point down pretty quickly. Let's try it some more. I might not be able to bow drill slowly enough. Let's see what happens. Might have to uh, bow drill a little bit quicker to keep everything held together. Look what it did to the end of that spindle, not having a bottom in that fireboard.
humidity? What makes you think there's any humidity in the air? I'm going to start, start cutting out this divot and set this outside. All right, think about the uniqueness of what I'm about to show you. This is the two hole fireboard technique with a bundled spindle on a two piece fireboard. Let's try that. It wasn't able to get any air. So let's try it again. Looks like an ember that time. Good. And I will use the dust from the last attempt. Good. Did a great job. I'll show you some close-ups of this bundled spindle made out of bamboo, tulip poplar spindle, and the two-piece fireboard.
you've got to give your embers time to coalesce. It sits there and cooks and that dust pile just gets tighter and tighter and actually hotter and hotter. So. Get out of the way of the smoke. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to set this outside, then we'll do some close ups. Let's see if we can get the stove fired back up. Check out that fireboard. We had almost no bottom left in this divot. And that's why the hot end of this spindle wore into a point like that. But it did great for the spindle and the fireboard, both being tulip poplar. We used a bundled spindle made out of bamboo on a two-piece tulip poplar fireboard and we used the two-hole method on the fireboard to get our amber and ignite loblolly pine needles. So I am happy. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.